Glass bubbles are low in density. 3M makes glass bubbles in a range of density from 0.1 to 0.6 grams per cc specific density. And if you compare that to other fillers that are used in plastics, such as talc, calcium carbonate, and glass fiber, those are much, much more dense, 2.5, 2.7, even up to 3.0 grams per cc. And I'll illustrate that right now as I show a comparison between glass bubbles and, in the first case, glass fiber. Equal volume percent, so I've got a beaker with an equal amount of glass bubbles and glass fiber. And we're going to put these on two different scales, and we'll show you the weight difference between the same 80 milliliters of these two materials. And you can see, in terms of glass bubbles versus glass fiber, uh, the glass fiber weighs 117 grams and the glass bubble weighs 66 grams. And this is important because when we formulate plastic resin systems, we're usually having to take out or reformulate some of the other additives that are in the package, like glass fiber. There, a lot of systems might have 20 to 30 percent glass fiber. That's a lot of inorganic filler already in the system. To make room for the glass bubbles, what we usually do is drop the glass fiber content, maybe by 5 or 10 weight percent, and we replace it with the same volume percent of glass bubbles. So as you can see, if we replace them on a weight percent, we would have a lot less weight of glass, or a lot more volume of glass bubbles in the case of replacing this glass bubble with that glass fiber because the density difference means that the bubbles are going to take up a whole lot more volume per unit of weight. The same is true with other fillers. That's glass fiber. I've got calcium carbonate. And again, you can see calcium carbonate is even a little more dense. So in comparison, it's 142 grams versus 66. And lastly, let's look at talc also a very dense filler. At the same volume, we've got about 94 grams versus 66. So the, the lesson here is because the glass bubbles are low in density, they take up a lot of volume per unit of weight, we want to replace any inorganics that we take out of the formulation on a volume percent so we don't over, overfill the resin system with inorganic material, which will cause a precipitous drop in physical properties.